This is Shelley Kraft coming to you live on SNN Live. We're on location in New York City. I have with me Jonathan Peacock, Bellerophon Therapeutics, Inc. It's a publicly traded company, and the symbol is BLPH. Jonathan, welcome to SNN Live. Thanks for having me, Shelley. It's good to have you. So let's start out by getting an overview. Yes, Shelley, uh, Bellerophon is a company that uh, focuses in the pulmonary hypertension space. Uh, we're using a very well-established uh, therapy, uh, nitric oxide. Nitric oxide has been used in a hospital setting now for around 10 years to treat primarily persistent uh, pulmonary hypertension in neonates. Now, we've developed a very uh, innovative delivery system that enables us to bring this treatment uh, to patients with chronic diseases, trying to live normal lives uh, outside of a hospital setting. Uh, our primary uh, indication is pulmonary arterial hypertension, and we're entering phase three um, later this year. We'll start those phase three trials this year. Uh, we're also in phase two testing for pulmonary hypertension associated with COPD, uh, and we're doing some exploratory work uh, with pulmonary fibrosis as well. So we're, we've got a long uh, tail of uh, indications, and we're at a pretty advanced stage with pulmonary arterial hypertension. We also have quite an experimental treatment for heart failure that I'm happy to talk about as well. But pulmonary hypertension is really what the company is about. Huge market. Let's talk about that for a minute, both in the U.S. and globally. Yeah, it, it is. It's, it's, it's an important market. It's a serious disease. Um, and let me talk about the primary indication. So pulmonary arterial hypertension it's an orphan disease. It's a disease where the, uh, it primarily affects uh, younger women. Uh, the life expectancy, even with the existing therapies, is typically no more than five years. So it's a deadly disease as well. Uh, and, and we have orphan drug designation from the FDA in recognition of the need for additional therapies in this space. So in the US and Europe, there are at least 20,000 patients who would benefit from this therapy. Um, and, and it is, uh, again, recognized as an orphan disease. In COPD, uh, this is an area where the pulmonary hypertension aspects of COPD just are not treated today. Uh, and we believe we can relieve that aspect of the disease, and we believe over time we'll be able to demonstrate uh, the uh, the benefit for patients of treating pulmonary hypertension with this disease. And in the US alone, there are probably well, certainly more than 500,000 patients who could benefit from this therapy. Uh, and then finally, pulmonary fibrosis or pulmonary hypertension associated with idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. That's again a, a disease area where there's very little available uh, to treat that disease today. There's no approved therapy to treat pH and IPF. Uh, we believe we can help these patients. Uh, and that's at least uh, 20,000 patients who could benefit from this disease. So it's an important market. It's a serious disease. It's a deadly disease. So, Jonathan, our viewers, listeners, have people that are being affected by heart disease mm. right now. Mm. They're probably asking themselves, when will, this, when will this be available? How do I get it? Et cetera. Tell me, where are you in the world of clinical trials? I'm sure this is, you know, a tough mm. clinical trial market, et cetera. Please tell us about it. Yeah, let me step through that. Uh, and, and, you know, as I mentioned, pulmonary arterial hypertension is the area where we're most advanced. Uh, and we're starting our phase three trial uh, in, later this year. Uh, we've agreed with the FDA and with the European medicines agencies that we'll run two trials, uh, one with about 180 patients, one with 270 patients. Uh, the first of those two trials should be uh, completed in the early part of 2018. Uh, the second will depend on the funding. Uh, you know, we could get it done within a similar time frame, uh, but that will depend on how fast uh, we put the funding in place for that second trial. On COPD, uh, an important and big disease as we've talked about, uh, on COPD, we're in phase two testing. Uh, we've demonstrated that we can uh, reduce uh, pulmonary hypertension for these patients. Uh, what we plan to demonstrate next is that we can improve their exercise capacity and over time, the clinical outcomes for these patients. Uh, so that's one that will uh, uh, take a year or two to demonstrate that we can develop that and then we'll move into a full-blown phase three trial. 
Uh, and then pulmonary fibrosis, early stages, uh, that could move quite quickly, though, uh, once we've got the proof of concept trial done, but uh, timetable to be dependent on that. I mentioned heart failure as well, and that's one where we, we, we have a, a very novel treatment for, for uh, preventing progression to congestive heart failure following a heart attack. We had some great animal data. Uh, three independent trials showed a real effectiveness of this treatment. We had some very promising uh, early uh, human data. We just ran uh, a trial um, with 300 patients. Uh, we chose the most severe uh, uh, heart attacks, and I think in that case we showed that we just got to those patients too late. Uh, the damage was too great. So we're going to step back and do some more exploratory work, but hopefully come back to the clinical trials with that uh, a little bit down the road. But that, that's a great uh, area that, 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 that we'd like to help those patients in as well. What's your background? Uh, uh, my background is I, I've been in the pharmaceutical world for about 10 years now. I was the uh, CFO of Amgen, uh, a company you may have heard about. Uh, before that, I was the CFO of Novartis uh, Pharmaceuticals based out of Switzerland. Um, and uh, so I've spent a lot of time in the uh, drug development uh, and commercialization world. Um, and prior to that, was a partner at McKinsey in the healthcare practice. So uh, I, I've been around this space for a little while now. So how do you like going from these elephants in the room to a small company? I mean, it's like got to be a cultural shock at least. <laughs> Well, this is, uh, this is phase three for me. Uh, you know, I, I spent, uh, you know, had, had fun in the consulting world. Uh, I think, uh, you know, we did some great things in, in the big pharma biotech world. But to take a young company, to build a team, uh, to build a set of programs, and to really build something up in a more entrepreneurial setting, uh, it, it's a great phase for me right now. So I'm, uh, I'm having fun. So how does it feel to be a team leader with all of these wonderful PhDs running around and helping you get to the problem sorted. Well, I've, I've been working with scientists for quite a long time, but uh, to have a hand-picked group of uh, scientists that you can work with on these programs, uh, you know, is, is great. It's great. There's a great diversity in the team, uh, and there's a great set of experience and capabilities covering devices, uh, the drug, medical world, uh, and the regulatory world as well. And just bringing that combination of skills together has really uh, really been important to, uh, to moving the program forward. So if you had to pick one thing that investors, shareholders, viewers could look for in 2016, not that 2015 is over, but a little bit of a future uh, information. So in 2016, you'll see, uh, you'll see the pulmonary arterial hypertension phase three program well underway. And you'll start to see some of the results of the earlier testing that we're doing in COPD and pulmonary fibrosis. So watch out for that. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get a website, please. Uh, the website is www.bellerophon.com. Ladies and gentlemen, Jonathan Peacock, Bellerophon Therapeutics, Inc. It's a publicly traded company. The symbol is BLPH. I'm Shelley Kraft. This is SNN Live, and we're coming to you live on location in New York City. Jonathan, thank you so much for Thanks, coming. Thanks, Shelley. Thank You're you. Welcome.